Now, Jet 24's Jay Pushkar with sports. Good evening. This Sunday marks a somber yet resilient anniversary for the town of Albion. As a community looked to rebuild, student athletes from Northwestern High School definitely gave everyone something to cheer about 35 years ago. May 31st, 1985. This was the aftermath following a devastating tornado that ripped through Albion, Pennsylvania. We lose over 100 homes. Uh, families were absolutely displaced. Uh, they moved out of town. And it was really devastating because there was nothing that could be immediately done to rebuild the town in a short-term fashion. I can recall heading into town uh, just to try to ascertain if our, or if our friends were alive. Um, at 17 years old, 18 years old, y your world is kind of small and uh, we were concerned and I can remember heading into the town that night and uh, the destruction was, uh, was incredible. Just days later, the Northwestern softball team took a vote and played in the District 10 title game. Eventually, the Lady Wildcats would finish state runner-up weeks later. It wasn't necessarily a surprise that for some reason you had a bunch of fantastic female athletes then all of a sudden be matched by the male athletes of those same grades coming together for the football season. In the fall of 1985, the Northwestern football team lost the season opener to Corey. It would be the last loss they suffered that season. The talent was there, the people were there, but I think we needed that one spark in that second game. I think it, we finally found who we were as a team and we far, finally started to get rolling. Um, and by the third game with General McLean, I think we scored from the third, third play from scrimmage and I think that was when we said, yes, we're here and we're for real. And the support was so tremendous. I, again, from people who had just suffered personal tragedy, financial tragedy, whatever it was, these people used a football team to rally around and for a small community there weren't too many people who missed games on Friday nights. Eventually Northwestern would be co-champions of the Erie County League and went on to win the first ever District 10 championship a 40 to 7 victory over Reynolds. There weren't egos. Um, the town of Albion didn't have egos. You had a job to do and if you did your job you didn't care who got credit for it. And that was the beauty of that team. I'm stunned to think back that it's been 35 years already uh, because we can certainly all remember walking on the fields and hearing the, the sounds and, and the smells of what it was like for us to play football. And I can say without a doubt that we miss it dearly. The two classes that were behind us, we had a core group of guys that had been together since, since 1979 um, and we were, we, were, we were brothers. We were going to win at, at any cost. We're just a special group of guys who would have played hard for one another and didn't bicker and didn't argue and we just we went out and played and we I think we did what we had to do and and we had fun doing it too there was there, boy, there's nothing like celebrating a, a championship and a win and, and doing it with the guys you love